The state Democratic Party is holding its convention tonight. It will look very different than what the party originally planned. Our Amy Reid is live to explain what they're doing and what one political expert is watching for. Amy? Even with less time, or what was once, excuse me, a two-day event is now a two-hour virtual program. But even with less time, the party will still need to convince people to vote blue, both in state races and the big ticket in November. Coronavirus conventions are new ground for any of the parties. Tonight, Wisconsin Democrats opted to go virtual, planning a stacked lineup of speakers, including Senator Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. The biggest thing is keeping enthusiasm up and getting people to turn out. Charles Franklin, the director of the Marquette Law Poll, said getting that enthusiasm and messaging across through a screen might be difficult. I don't think it reaches a mass audience, but it actually might expand a little bit the number of Democratic uh, activists and interested players who can participate this way, or at least watch the proceedings. The state's Republican Party is still planning an in-person convention for next month. Party leaders say they're checking CDC guidelines and working with a physician. We have gone through uh, numerous meetings with the venue to talk about social distancing, talk about how to make sure the movements of people throughout the convention are done in the safest way possible. Party chair Andrew Hitt said tonight he thinks Democrats will criticize President Donald Trump, though he said voters should look at the president's record. Franklin said Democratic leaders should also take the opportunity to look not just at Biden and Trump, but also the future of the state. There's no doubt that the Trump and Biden campaigns will be here campaigning a lot in the fall. And so in one sense, I think the state party might want to focus more on things closer to home and that includes invigorating its voters and not act as if it were purely a surrogate for the presidential campaign. Of course, this and the Republican convention next month are just a preview of the national conventions that we will see in August. Franklin said that the Democrats will likely see what works tonight and apply it to the convention in Milwaukee. That convention tonight starts at 7. Amy, thank you.